And I'm not crazy. Because when I heard my grandmother was raped, and then I see my pops throw my mama down the stairs, and I got my miss, I'm like, the world was crazy before I got here. <laughs> like, this is crazy. You know what I mean? And, I, and then to turn around and say from all this, God is good. I knew God was good, or I loved God, but I didn't know if I could trust him. So talking about faith, that's deep. Lately, I, I've been having thoughts I can't deny. Never had doubts when it came to God. Now, man, I can't decide. And while I was lead, a worship leader at the church and part of leadership, my mother actually at 55 was diagnosed with dementia. Restaurants, and she'd sit down and like there'd be eight people at the table, and she'd tell you in like three minutes exactly how much everybody owed, including tip and tax. Like that's how like just genius my mother was when it came to numbers. But you watch this woman who can look now at a door and not be able to tell you the word door. Um, and so for me, it was a lot of questioning about why and how and what does it mean and, you know, she was a believer. On top of it, at that time, I was leading worship in a church where I'm supposed to be helping other people with their faith. And I'm supposed to be helping other people come to Christ and understand the gospel. And so when my mother died, you know, it's like you talk about your peaks and your valleys, like that was the, the lowest of the low for me. I just said, God gives you the answers to and ashamed trying to clear my name I used to have faith but I fear I've changed I used to have faith but I changed my Me, was on fire and <laughs> just strong faith I'm saying no, our son is going to make it uh, and I'm telling everybody I'm only letting the people in the room who believes that my son is going to make it nurses who said that my son wasn't going to make it was, was not allowed in the room uh, doctors who said my son wasn't going to make it was not allowed in the room we had it written all over the, uh, the, the room that my son is going to live. Uh, and when he was born, he was alive for about seven seconds before he passed. Uh, and it just tore me up. It hurt me because it was like, God, I was so confident that if I believed in what you said, and I'm standing on your word, that my son is going to live. And it hurt. I remember cursing that guy <laughs> like because of the pain that I had. Uh, and so although my faith was shook, I still believed enough to talk to him to say, <laughs> what did you do? That's <laughs> why uh, so I hold to my faith when it's tough. When everybody love what you hate. Everybody. And everybody hate what you love. Everybody. And everybody love to debate. You just pray that you made for the stuff. So step down from the Lord back away. But you can't because you can't get enough for Jesus. Something's going to shake our belief, and it's, it's the reality of death. And it says in Psalm 23 that uh, he walks with us through the valley. He doesn't walk us the edge of the valley and say, I'll meet you on the other side. You're going to go ahead and navigate these terrifying, troubling waters with, with lions and bears and darkness. And he's like, no, I'm with you. I think we know who God is. We have this, this more maybe a simplistic understanding of God. But then when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we are forced to our knees. We're forced to depend on his rod for protection and his staff for guidance. And we experience the character of God in profoundly deep and interpersonal ways. And so on the other side, authors have called this the wall, the dark night of the soul, whatever you want to call it. When we learn to cling to God, and without answers, we cling to his protection and his guidance. On the other side, like, we have tasted him and seen him in ways we never would have. So that we can honestly say, as hard as this, not, I don't say this is a hallmark trite thing, but we can honestly say, on the other side of that valley, it's like, God, this suffering and this loss and this death was designed by you for my good, and I know you now in ways I never would have known you had an experience.